This is JSA TV and JSA Podcast, the newsroom for telecom and data center professionals. I'm Dean Perrine, Executive Vice President at JSA, and we are coming at you on location in beautiful Miami, Florida at MetroConnect 2020. And I am here, Tim, I'm going to say old friend um, for many, many years, Mr. Tim Kaiser, uh, the former CEO, founder of, of uh, Colo ATL, who is now serving as a consultant for Colo ATL, and Mr. John Ghirardelli. I got it right, right, got John? It right. John Ghirardelli, he's the general manager of Colo ATL and director of U.S. innovation for American Tower. Gentlemen, welcome to JSA TV. Hey, thanks for having us. Yeah. You, you got it, Tim. Thank welcome you, again. You, you, you bet. You bet. So, Tim, um, we mentioned that you, former uh, founder and CEO, or I guess the current founder still, uh, former CEO of, uh, of Colo ATL, but serving more in a uh, consulting capacity. Why don't you tell our viewers a little bit about what that transition has been like for you? Well, the transition has been really well. Thank you for asking. Um, John and the guys at American Tower were great, and they uh, kind of mandated they wanted me to stay for six months. Mm -hmm. As we all know, American Tower, this is their first foray into buying a data center. Mm -hmm. So they said, well, if I would stay and help them. And uh, after six months, I said, I think you guys need a little more help. <laughs> and they said, love to have you. So uh, beat around the bush, does he? <laughs> it's, it's been about, um, it'll be a year now, correct, John? Yeah, about yeah. a year. And uh, it's been really wonderful. They, uh, the transition couldn't be smoother. They kept all of my guys, Butch Scott and Nick. They love them to death. They're doing great. Hired them on as employees. And um, we've grown the company. The employees are happy. It's been a wonderful transition. We came down here to this wonderful event. As you all know, I love this event. I do. Um, you know, I've introduced John to, you know, a multitude of people and our tenants. So transition, um, I'd have to ask John if he's happy. I think the transition has been nothing but extremely smooth. Well, let's ask John. John, <laughs> how's the transition been? No, so John, you wear a number of hats um, currently. Why don't you talk to our viewers a little bit about that transition, how things are going, and a little bit more about what it is that you do. Sure, yeah, so the transition's been great. I mean, Tim's a one-of-a-kind, world-class guy. One-of-a-kind, exactly, yeah, yes. Yeah, yeah. And so it was, uh, you know, part of the reason why we looked at Colo ATL was because of Tim. You know, he has the background experience, knowledge, from all facets of the business that we really thought would help us understand that asset. Um, you know, you mentioned a little bit about the two hats, right? So I, I sit in our innovation and strategy team, focusing to try to identify new assets, services, solutions across the US and American Tower with our global innovation platform. We're trying to do that. Um, we kind of came into this opportunity with Colo ATL. So now I'm also serving as the GM, trying to fill Tim's shoes. Yes, good, good, good yeah, yeah, he's got some, he's got some big shoes to fill. Um, but it's been an amazing experience. We've learned a tremendous amount of that business. You know, we come from more of the passive infrastructure world, mm -hmm. and this is our first foray into a little bit more of active management. So um, I couldn't have asked for a better teacher. And, and you know, we've been able to keep Tim engaged and uh, he continues to teach and learn every day. So let's talk about that from your perspective. It, this is your first foray into uh, a data center co-location. Um, why don't you tell our viewers a little bit about what kind of separates Colo ATL apart from the competition? I'm going to ask you first, and then we'll yeah. ask this guy over here. I mean, I think a lot of it is what Tim set up and the foundation that we have. I mean, the customer service, the responsiveness, the flexibility is, I think, core, right? Um, we put the customer first and always first, and um, that hasn't let Tim down in the past, and that's not let us down currently. And I think the, the location, obviously, the, um, the design of the facility, the reliability of the systems that Tim put in place, um, and then also just the connectivity um, that exists within those four walls. I think you know all those attributes together um, really drive home a pretty interesting value proposition for our customers. Great, Tim. Competitive differentiator for Colo ATL, go. Well, for one, I've always taught John and all the folks, and uh, I've said it many times here, I don't have co competition. We don't have competitors, I always said, you know, if you can find a facility that doesn't charge you monthly recurring cross connects, we've never been out of power in almost 19 years since our existence, not once. We're great to our people. We don't charge remote hands. I said, you name someone like that, I have a competitor. Mm -hmm. So I've always spoke to John and he had all the key points. I won't have to re reiterate them all, but good customer service, you know, basically, uh, simply to sum it up, treat them like family. Mm -hmm. And uh, whether they're small, little, or, you know, in the middle, we treat them all the same. Treat them like family. Treat them like you care. And don't forget about them. And um, it's been a successful model. 
It's always been your motto since I've met you yes, from, from day one, from day one. So Tim, um, from your seat, your new seat now as a consultant um, uh, in the organization, why don't you tell our viewers a little bit about how, uh, you know, where you see Colo AT going over the next six months? Well, in the next six months, I kind of wear a three hats for them. Mm -hmm. You know, I'm a professional engineer by trade, so I still help them with the engineering when that's needed. Mm -hmm. And then also I help bring new tenants. Mm -hmm. So I'm kind of like a real estate agent. I try to bring folks mm -hmm. in. So, you know, I'm helping them with the marketing. And then the third we'll call the consulting. And in the beginning, you know, it's probably 90% really needed help, 10%. And John's a quick learner and his mm -hmm. crew. Now it's more like I only have to spend 10% or 90. You know, the questions are getting less and less. They're learning very quickly. So I see in the future that if they want to go in other endeavors that, you know, I would and I could do this. I still have my Kaiser Consulting Company. I will help them and evaluate other facilities just like I would for anyone else. And um, hopefully just be a good spokesman and, and let them know a product of what they had since they're looking to me for the expertise. Great. And John, same question. What's next, man? Yeah, I mean, I think we're going to continue to invest in the facility. We've done a lot of stuff the past nine months. We've learned. We haven't touched much. We've been continued to invest in the facility. We just opened up data center room four. Uh, so I've got some new inventory to come online. Uh, we're going to redo our website this year uh, with you guys. So I think that's going to be exciting. It's a good decision. Yeah, good decision, right? And um and I think we're going to just try to continue to carry on what Tim did, grow the business. We'd like to, you know, turn Colo ATL and, and 55 Marietta into something that we can all look back over many years from now and be proud of. I love it. Gentlemen, thank you very much for being here, Tim. Uh, always great to see you, John. A pleasure to meet you. Absolutely. You bet. You bet. And one last word. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> um, I just wanted to tell you all, thank you, Jamie, JSNA. Thank you for all the support through all the years with me. I'm not sure I'll get to do this often. I just want to tell you from the bottom of my heart. You guys are the best, and I'm really happy that American Tower uh, thinks highly of you, too, and you're do, doing a good job. You, hear, you heard it here first, <laughs> folks. Um, thank you very much, guys, again. And thank you, viewers, for watching uh, JSA TV and listening to JSA Podcasts. We will see you soon, and happy networking. <laughs>